Okay, so today I'm going to be making kind of a fun video for everybody. My students are constantly asking me to teach them how to wire somebody's horn to their brakes for a prank. And today I'm going to show everybody how to do something like that. Only we're not going to wire it to the brakes because I don't think that's nearly as fun. Usually they'll start backing out of their space and immediately know there's a problem. What we want to do is wire it to something that will let them drive for a little bit longer before they realize. So we're going to try to wire the horn to the blinkers. And so we're looking at the wiring diagram for the horn on a 97 Jeep Grand Cherokee. And you can see that the horns right here, they always have ground. So what they're waiting for is power through this dark green yellow wire. And it's going to get power right here through the horn relay. And this horn relay is very convenient because it's under the hood on the right hand side of the engine. Okay, so that's nice. So we're going to try to jump it to the right hand blinker. So let's go look at the wiring diagram for the right front blinker. Right here we see right front turn signal lamp. It also has ground all the time but gets power from this tan dark blue. So we're going to run a jumper wire from this tan dark blue from the blinker over to the dark green wire right here, the dark green yellow on the horn. And it'll be very easy to do because the blinker and the relay box are right next to each other under the hood. So I'll go show you how to hook it up right now. Okay, so here we are under that 97 Jeep's hood. We're on the right hand side and you can see the fuse relay boxes right here. And our blinker is just right down in here. We'll start here in the fuse box. We'll take this off, locate the horn relay, which is right there, which is right there. So we're gonna unplug it. Now, a lot of times your relays are going to have wiring di diagrams written on the side, so you should be able to figure out which terminals run the switch. This does not. So just looking at the bottom, we should be able to figure it out. We know that the coil on the inside of the relay runs a lower amperage than the switch to the horn. And so since these ones are smaller, these have got to be the low amperage terminals. These have got to be the higher amperage terminals. So we're going to be jumping from this middle larger one. And to do that, what I've done is I've stripped back some wire and removed just one strand of the wire because I don't want to damage these terminals by doing this. So we're going to lay this down into that slot, kind of bend it off to the side, and we'll plug the relay back in over top. And we've given ourselves... Oh, kind of fell down in. Hold on a second. being stubborn here there we go so now we've given ourselves this nice little copper wire that we can put a gator clip onto to run our jumper wire okay so that thing's ready to go now we'll look down here where the blinker is and you can see the connector for our headlights right there right off to the side of it is the connector for the blinker and according to our wiring diagram it was a tan light blue wire and I know you can't see that in the camera but I found it already and I've stuck a T-pin into the back side of the connector so that we've back probed and we have something else to clip a jumper wire to. So now, all we gotta do is get a jumper wire that has gaiters on it, like this, and we're gonna clip one onto that copper wire right there. We'll clip one onto that T-pin. And now every time we turn on the blinkers, it should honk the horn. Let's test it out. Okay, so that's how you wire somebody's horn to their blinker. Hope you have fun with that. 